what's up guys uh, i'll be continuing with the installation and configuration of citrix license server uh, which is in the control layer which sits up here uh, so I've, i'll be logging on to my lab environment uh, quickly a rundown as as i already mentioned in the picture i've already got all of the vms ready with windows server 2019 uh, installed uh, and it's running on a zen server 8 as you can only see uh, that's um, CVAD LIC01, which is the Citrix license server where we'll be installing the licensing role on this box. I've already pre downloaded the ISOs and the free trial license uh, onto the box. Uh, so let me just log on to the box. Uh, so this box is completely patched with the latest Windows updates uh, on it and it's been hardened as per the best practices. Uh, so let's... <clears throat> so I've, as you can normally see, uh, the version of uh, CVAD that we are installing is the latest LTSR 2403 that just got, um, uh, that just got uh, released on the 15th of April. I'll, I'll, uh, the latest version uh, for Citrix license server, the build version is 11.17.2.0 with 46,000, the build number. So I already, as I stated, I already downloaded the MSE. Uh, let's start off with uh, clicking and installing the licensing role on this box. Uh, just click next. Uh, I'll keep the I'll keep the default path uh, and click next. This is the uh, these are the default ports that the licensing server would normally run on, which is twenty seven thousand, uh, and also the daemon port for the vendor daemon port is seventy two seventy nine, and the web server for licensing port is eighty eighty three. We're not going to change any of the ports. We'll keep it as as default, and we'll make sure that we got this ticked. So this makes sure that the firewall rules for all of these ports are enabled on this box. I'll click next. I'll click on manual check for customer success service renewal license. I don't want to go ahead and you know get the automatic check done at this point and I'll click install. This shouldn't take that long and hopefully <clears throat> this should get installed. I'll pause the video for a while and I'll come back to the video once it's uh, completed successfully. Okay, as you can see, uh, uh, it's completed uh, the uh, setup and it's configuring the services along with the firewall rules. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, click launch Citrix Licensing Manager. And I'll make sure that yeah, at this point, I don't want to share uh, the details with Citrix. So I'll just click on none of the above and finish off the wizard. Okay, let me see what this error is. Okay, as you can see that the licensing uh, role is installed. Uh, we should be able to see um, a few services that are being installed on this box. If I can get it right this time. And if I scroll down and see, I got my Citrix licensing service up and running. Uh, I'll close that and let's get into the GUI and try to install the trial license. Uh, So as you can see, uh, it's trying, it's trying. So that's the web URL. Uh, and I just put in my administrative credentials to log into the portal. There you go. And you can see that 
it's installed successfully. At this point, I would not go ahead and register the license over Citrix Cloud. So I'm just going to ignore that at the moment because I don't have a Citrix Cloud portal. You can see that uh, that's the build that's been installed. Uh, so at this point, I have already downloaded the latest license, uh, the trial license for uh, Citrix Virtual Apps uh, and Desktop. LTSR 2403. So I'm just going to install those licenses. So I click, come on the tab of install license and click on use download license file. I go to choose file and I browse to the license file where I got that license downloaded. And I'll click on import. Hopefully, that should normally uh, get the license imported into the console. There you go. So as you can see, this is a trial license. And uh, all of the licenses, uh, there are 99 uh, concurrent licenses that are being uh, downloaded and installed successfully onto the uh, server. Mm. Uh, I'll also try and add domain admins so that any member who's a part of that group will be able to log on to the uh, Citrix console. And I'll make sure that the role is as an administrator. If you have a look at the dashboard, you can see uh, all of the licenses are available. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, in the next series, uh, uh, we will start off with configuring an installation of Citrix Storefront in high availability using Netscaler. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this video. Asla Vista from Citrix Sage. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.